Hello guys, we are going to farm the following. 125 Mutant AA for 20% Ultimate Valby Code and an additional 10% Ultimate Viesa Code. 115 Mutant AA for 32% Valby Enhanced Cells and an additional 20% Enduring Legacy Polymer Blueprint. 113 Mutant AA for 32% Valby Stabilizer and 10% Ultimate Bunny Enhanced Cells. 73 Mutant AA for 20%. Valby Spiral Catalyst and an additional 10% Ultimate Bunny Enhanced Cells. Before starting to farm Valby, you must have Sharon or a Sharon player to assist you. First, we need to acquire 113 Mutant AA. Move to Hagios, Forward Base, and then the Zone Recon Mission. You can obtain 113 Mutant AA with a 25% drop rate from additional rewards for a successful infiltration. Luckily, I had a party to farm Ultimate Valby with, and I only needed to farm three times to get the 113 Mutant AA. Yeah, I just got it for one too. Next, move to the Void mission to open it. For the Void mission, you need Inorganic and Polymer Void Shards. To farm those shards comfortably, I recommend going to Fortress and using Bunny for Electronic Void Fragments to collect inorganic and polymer shards. This area is known as the Bunny Cave. The Void Fusion Reactor location is well hidden and was tricky to find initially. I'll show you how to get there. Caution. The Octopus Boss can be challenging for newcomers. I got the ultimate Valby stabilizer on my first try. Oh, yeah. I got it. Our next target, 125 Mutant AA. We will do the infiltration mission in the quarantine zone of Fortress. Aim for a kill score of at least 230%. There is one mission, Vulgus Biometric Code, in the quarantine zone. Don't pick up the codes here, just kill all the monsters until they stop spawning to maximize your score. The boss is also strong, so I recommend having a party to farm 125 Mutant AA. I completed 5 rounds to farm 10 AMPs. To access 125 Mutant AA, you need to defeat the Molten Fortress. You can also go to Gluttony, but this boss is the hardest one in the first Descendant. If you haven't tried Molten Fortress before, here's how to play. There are 8 electronic towers when the Molten Fortress is enraged. Shoot the panels to change the direction to 3 o'clock. Connect all the towers to end the rage phase. Be cautious of volcano meteorites. If they hit the towers and fill the heat gauge completely, the tower will reset. Therefore, assign two towers to each person and shoot down volcano meteorites to secure your towers. I got the ultimate Valby code in three tries. Lucky. Now, we need to farm 115 Mutant AA. Do the infiltration mission in Hagios and the Haven. I farmed 115 Mutant AA five times. Now, we will tackle the Void Colossus Frostwalker in the first Descendant. You can burst the boss easily if you have full ultimate Lepic mods, but no one in our party had Lepic at that time, so we defeated it normally. Here's a guide for killing Frostwalker if it's your first time. Break as many parts of the Frostwalker as you can before 725. After breaking parts, flaming orbs will appear on the ground. Avoid picking them up until 735. When the time comes, Pick up six flaming orbs to gain a flaming buff. Be careful, as your orb stacks will decrease if hit by the Frost Walker. At 720, the Frost Walker will freeze everyone, which is its enrage phase. You can't dodge this, but you can survive with a flaming buff. Get the flaming buff on time to avoid freezing your teammates. I tried three times and got the ultimate Valby Enhanced Cell. The last target is the ultimate Valby Spiral Catalyst. Move to Vesper, Lost Supply Depot, and Zone Recon Mission. You also need Sharon here to get 73 Mutant AA. To access 77 Mutant AA, you need Polymer and Organic Void Shards. 
I have already explained where to farm polymer, so I will just recommend where to farm organics. Go to Agna Desert, Vermilion Waste, and the Electronic Void Fragment mission. You can easily farm organic with Bunny. I farmed 25 times and finally got it at the end. No video recording for this item. I think I used up all my luck on other resources. Sad. After that, I didn't have enough conductive metallic foils, so I switched to Enzo and farmed conductive metallic foils in Vesper. If you don't have enough heat plasma batteries, here is a guide to farm them faster. We will go to Old Mystery in Hagios. Don't worry about the kill score rate. There is a mission called Destroy the Scattered Kuiper Ore. Spend all five minutes killing monsters without completing the Kuiper Ore mission. Five elite monsters are spawning until the time 040, and you can get more than 50 heat plasma batteries from them. To get all other resources, you can check my other videos. I'm sure those videos will help you farm other resources faster. Uh, this one is easy to get and hip plasma battery. Also, I'm gonna put silicon and helion, how to get faster. To find helion, return to fortress and check the frozen valley tactical transporter area. Gather helion material. How to farm silicon and compound coasting material? Teleport to here. Press tab key. There's one here. Three. If you don't want to move, you can switch to the hard mode. And then I show this one, metallic foil. And lapture, compound decoding. Also, I'll put the video, how to farm it. How to farm, rapture. Come to Kingston area, put the private. Doesn't matter about the word difficulty, normal and hard. Come to the destruction area. Press tab key. Start it from here. One. Two, three, resource box, four, five, six, seven. If you find more, just keep going in. After that, you switch to the normal mode and then do it again. If it's not regened perfectly, then switch to the normal mode and farm again. Finally, I gathered all the resources and completed the research. I'm enjoying playing Ultimate Valby now. Thank you for watching this video. I wish you luck in farming faster and obtaining Ultimate Valby. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more First Descendant content or tips, please like and subscribe to my channel.